building the mobile VR experience, the biggest challenge is to do the true motion to photon latency on mobile. Here, the latency between the physical movement of a user's head and the time it takes for the updated photons from your head mounted display to reach your eyes that is what is called as motion to photon latency and ideally this should be less than 30 milliseconds true devices like oculus rift vive they already provided less than 25 milliseconds but all the mobile devices usually especially the web vr have a latency of approximately 90 milliseconds so how do we solve this or what is the real challenge there? So traditionally on mobile devices rendering is double buffered which essentially means there are two buffers stored in GPU memory. One that is currently being scanned out so there are two steps rendering and scanning out. What you see on the on the display is what is getting scanned out. So that scanned out display is called front buffer and one that is being rendered to is the back buffer. So at each frame display, the two are swapped. So the GPU never renders the same buffer that's being scanned out. So this has the advantage to prevent the artifacts. But at the same time in VR, because we are trying to show as soon as the user moves his head, the side effect is this re re leads to increased latency. So an alternative approach is to what we call as single rendering is to render directly to the front buffer but time things out so carefully so that you have rendered each line of the image just shortly before the scan out is going out to the display. So here we use a technique uh, which Daydream provides called scanline racing and essentially scanline racing is a process of knowing where the scanline is in the screen and just rendering before that not overshooting that to avoid the artifacts. So that solves the problem of motion to photon latency by going for single rendering on top of scanline racing. And we have used it using the Daydream VR SDK for our sports VR experience.